Hey guys, Technomentary here with an updated video for you guys on how to factory reset and delete and erase everything on your iPhone 6 on the latest iOS version for the iPhone 6, which is iOS 12. So let's dive right into it. So if you need to factory reset your iPhone 6, it's going to be a couple things you need to consider. First thing is make sure if you haven't backed up, backed up your device going into your settings. If you're using iCloud backup, you can click on your Apple account here under iCloud here. You have the option to do an iCloud backup by going over here and then you can do a backup by going into iCloud backup and you can turn that on and click on backup now or you can also back it up on your computer using iTunes app which you can uh, go through those steps or if in a MacBook you can also use a new finder app as well to back it up but the reason why you want to back up is because once you do a factory reset there's no turning back so you want to make sure you have your copy of your data like photos videos apps if you want to restore it on to a newer device right so once you're ready we go into your setting of our iPhone and first thing we need to do is click on our Apple ID account here we need to sign out of it so the next person can sign in with their account so that when we reset it it doesn't lock it with this Apple account so we need to click on sign out and once you click on sign out here let's try it again it's gonna ask you for your Apple ID password for the account that's signed in so we need to enter our Apple ID password which I'm gonna do next now once you enter your Apple ID password here just simply click on turn off so that it can sign out of your account and you're gonna to want to go ahead and click on sign out and click on sign out and it's gonna remove basically this iPhone from your iCloud account so that the next person can use their account and we want to do this and if you reset without doing this it's going to lock the phone meaning they will have to know your Apple ID password or you have to sign in again and then do this whole process again so it's important that you sign out of your Apple account before doing a factory reset and once you're signed out it's going to say sign in something like this which means it's ready for the next person but next step you want to do is go into your settings general go all the way down here click on reset and then click on erase all content and settings and this will again delete everything on your iPhone we click on erase and finally as I mentioned this can't be undone that's why you need to do a backup it's giving you a final kind of option if you are going through with this which I'll confirm and the reset or the factory erase process is beginning this takes a couple minutes sometimes depending on how much data it has to delete you might see the Apple logo and the loading bar pop up a few times which is normal completely fine one thing I recommend is whenever you're doing this is your phone is connected to a charger or at least has 50% or more charge so it doesn't die during the process because if it dies during the process basically if you're out of charge it will not successfully uh, erase or delete everything so you want to see this through until you get to the screen to the main setup page which I will show you as we're going through in real time so if you want to skip forward to the video to see that screen you can but we're gonna wait to show you how long it takes to do a factory reset again somewhere between a couple minutes to up to five to ten minutes depending on how much data the phone has to delete and once this is done you can pretty much sell give it away or trade it in because all of your information will be completely wiped out and remove all of your information will be gone you don't have to worry about any of that and this is the way to factory reset your iPhone to factory default just like when you bought it and set it up yourself and while this is happening if you haven't hit that uh, subscribe button for our channel do consider it as we have a tons of tips and tricks for your iPhone and other devices on our channel if you want to check out that content as well and if you also have any other content that you like us to create make sure to put it in the comment section as well so we can try to make those videos for you guys so as you can see here we're gonna see this through all the way until we get to the screen so we'll have to be a little bit patient now the iPhone 6 is of course or older device so it does take some time whenever it's doing some of the things like del like erasing iPhone compared to a newer iPhone and that's just the way it works because of the hardware that's built in with the iPhone 6 and also while well, this process is happening if you do consider upgrading to a newer iPhone check out the links that we'll include in the description section 
which you can score some really good deals on some of the newer iPhones from sites like Amazon uh, that are included there. So go check out those deals as well if you are thinking or in the market to upgrade your iPhone. So it looks like it's still going. It seems like it's stuck here, but we just have to be, again, like I said, patient just so we can see this whole process through. And we looks like it might finally be done we're just gonna wait till we get to the setup screen and once you get to that hello screen that means we have successfully factory reset it we can click on the home button and the language menu pops up just like when you initially first set it up and this phone has been successfully factory reset and ready to go and i hope you guys found this video helpful if so please consider the like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iphone and other ios devices see you guys next time